Welcome back to Living 808. We're here in Hawaii's kitchen at the Servco Appliance Showroom in their Thermidor kitchen. We're welcoming back once again Bill's Hawaii, and we have General Manager Eki Locke as well as Executive Chef Lucas Wooden joining us with all the details about the restaurant, and they're going to be cooking us up a couple of dishes. So, Chef Lucas, what are we going to be making today? So, today we'll be doing the poke rice uh, with avocado and some little citrus stuff and then we'll be doing our prawn linguine which has a little bit of uh, spicy food and a little bit of buttery textures. Okay, perfect. And then you've already started cutting off I some have. of the skin. Now mm -hmm. I know you have to get to work because there's a very specific way to cut poke. Correct. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? So, so the first thing you're going to do, you'll be removing the skin um, just because, I mean, obviously that's too tough to eat. So with that, you'll get a lot of excess. You want to save that. You want to use that for, you know, a tartare or anything that, you know, you can scrape off. Definitely. Next, you want to get rid of this bloodline that's unedible. Okay, perfect. We'll watch and then we'll mm. also talk. So, okay, I have to ask, Bill's Hawaii, you guys first, your very first uh, ever location was in Sydney, Australia. Mm -hmm. Now you have locations all over in mm -hmm. London, Japan, Korea, and mm -hmm. of course here in Hawaii. So, what exactly makes Chef Bill such an expert in poke? Well, see, there's something about Chef Bill that's really important for everybody to know. And that is Chef Bill is always locally inspired. Mm -hmm. So he came to Hawaii, he felt connected. Every supermarket he went to, he saw pokey. He saw people selling pokey in all these different stores. And he was like, he got inspired. He went and bought some tuna down at Pier 38, brought it back to the restaurant and started playing around with pokey recipes and came up with this wonderful pokey recipe with his spin on it. All right, I love it. Okay, and exactly what are you doing right now? So right now I'm just blocking it up um, just so I can get a nice, nice cubes out of it. Okay. So obviously with this little piece that I've already cut, you can see that's already pretty square, so we'll just that looks beautiful. do some quick lines. And are you supposed to always cut with the lines of the fish? How does how do yeah, you do so, that? Yeah, so as you can see right down, there's a lot of little grains right there. Mm -hmm. You want to cut against the grain, and then you'll come back and you'll cut with the grain. With the grain, okay. So then you'll get these nice little cubes. <laughs> Perfect yeah. cubes. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. All right, and okay, a big concept for Bill's is mm -hmm. it's farm to table, locally sourced ingredients. Mm -hmm. Why is that so important? Bill loves to cook local. He wants the freshest ingredients. He wants to use local products because, you know, the idea of that farm to table is you want it as fresh as possible. Mm -hmm. When you're importing things from the mainland, it's not fresh when you're cooking it here. So mm -hmm. we go out, like even the sea asparagus he's going to use right there is made on a small farm in Kahuku wow. on the North Shore. And you can always taste the difference as yes. well. And that's the main thing. Mm. That's so wonderful. And, of course, also supporting local farmers. Uh, as well as fishermen. That's right. the way and to Lucas go. Lucas has a special guy that gets this fish for us. We do. Uh, so we use a guy, his name is William. He's from uh, Sunrise Seafood. He personally goes out and selects all of our fish so we get the best quality possible that we can here in Hawaii. It's locally caught, so, you know, we've got to keep it local like always. I love that. That's wonderful. Okay, so you just showed us how exactly to cut the perfect cubes. Now, right. can you tell us a bit more about the ingredients so that we're going to be yeah, using the um, flavors? So, so the sauce, we have uh, tamari, which is just a gluten-free soy sauce. Have a little bit of ginger just to give it a nice little bite. Um, then we got some tomatoes and sea asparagus. The tomatoes will give it a nice little citric the sea asparagus is very salty because it's mm -hmm. grown in the ocean, uh, so it'll give it, it'll brighten up all the flavors from the salt. Okay, absolutely love that. And so, do you notice a difference just cooking and handling things? The difference between you know when you buy local and have these fresh ingredients? Oh, of course. I mean, you're always going to get a better product when um, it's local, just because it doesn't have to sit on a boat and get shipped all across the ocean. So it's definitely always a lot better to be local, and you get. The best product you can. So. Definitely. Okay, and Bills, you guys are in Waikiki. Mm -hmm. um, where exactly can everybody find you? Because I know everyone's going to want to head on down. Can yeah, you so Bills, Bills Hawaii is located on Beach Walk. And uh, as a landmark, we're right next to the Hard Rock Cafe. So 280 Beach Walk, and we're open every day from 7 in the morning till 10 at night. So you can come there breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay, perfect. So we're going to have more throw this together, make the sauce, and show exactly how this is done coming up in the next segment. Correct. And then we also have a prawn linguine yes, coming up. yummy. So you're not going to want to miss it. All right, thanks, you guys. Thank you, Kelly. I've been to Bill's Hawaii many times, and I love it. It's such a cool vibe. What's too. your favorite dish over there? You know, they have great salads. I love their ah, salads. Okay. Yeah. I've got to um, visit. Definitely. Yes, you have to go check it out in Waikiki, parking right across the street. Uh, very easy. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah.